what am I talking about? Look in my kit bag. Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel and the world of Craig. Now, I lost count at about 11 weeks of how long we've been in lockdown. Who's counting? But I am very grateful that I had my kit with me. Now, this kit bag goes everywhere with me. It's, I have a kit bag, uh, a look inside my kit bag video on here already, which I shall pop in a card up there. And obviously, as always, I will link it down below. But this bag goes everywhere with me. It goes to any classes that I teach, on any session jobs that I teach. And although it's not my huge, massive kit that travels with me sometimes, it is something that I have with me all the time. And I'm gonna share with you guys what's inside. As always, with all my videos here on the YouTube, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and hit subscribe, but make sure that you hit the bell notification and then you will see everything that I post here on my video. Now let's get into a fast and furious rundown of what's in here. So I guess it makes sense to start at the beginning and start with the bag itself. I have several of these. This is from a brand called My Kit Co. and I'll link them down below. And because of this video, there's quite a lot inside here and it's gonna be fast and furious, like the film, not, but it's gonna be fast and furious. Why am I into dad jokes here on my YouTube at the moment? Um, because it's gonna be fast and furious and I'm gonna go through everything really quickly, everything will be linked down below. Obviously, that's what we do here. But this is from a brand called My Kit Co. It's such a fantastic kit bag. I have um, maybe half a dozen of these that have got different things in them, but this is the one that goes everywhere with me. It's like a fabric on the back, and then it's got the vinyl, the see-through vinyl, and then the My Kit Co logo on the front here. This is a brand that was started up by a makeup artist called James Malloy and his partner, and it was to produce um, brushes, makeup items, and kit bags. They have a vast array on their website and they're all very, very reasonably priced. I can't remember the exact price of this. I'll pop it down below, but it's really sturdy. I've had this now for about five years, I think. I've had all of mine for about five years and it's got really, really great quality zips. The, the zipper pulls are really, really good quality too. And you know, obviously it's wiped clean because it's vinyl. And it just means that you can organize your kit. And as hair peeps and makeup professionals, who doesn't want organized kit? I kind of look like a percussionist here with these two brushes. Now, these are something that I've gone on and on and on about a lot. And they are YS Park round brushes. Now, that do have a couple of hairs on them. Sorry guys. Um, they haven't been used very much, so it's probably Dolly hair that's been on them or that's on them rather. Now, these are something that I've, I've written blogs about. There's a lot of, lot of stuff on my grid, my Instagram account, which I will link down below, and maybe is popping up somewhere around here. YS Park brushes, such great quality round brushes, slightly controversial, more hair, slightly controversial um, with some people because they're not metal barrel brushes. They are wooden and they have the bore bristles and then the plastic bristles. But I find for getting hair really smooth, they are the most incredible thing, especially around hairlines, thing, brush, especially around hairlines or for hair that, that does need a lot of smoothing. They're also great for creating volume. They're not cheap. They are, you know, a, a more expensive brush if you like, but they're an investment. This one I've had for about 10 years and this one I've had for about 15 years. Um, they go everywhere with me. And with these two brushes, I can pretty much, more hair, I can pretty much, oops, do everything. So YS Park brushes, and once again, I will link them down below. Oh my goodness, it's a big orange pintail comb, I hear you say. Now, this comb I picked up about 15 years ago in America, in the US, and it's one of those things that whenever I get this out, like unpacking my kit backstage at an event, or if I'm at Fashion Week, or whatever it is I'm doing with other hairdressers, people always comment on this, and they want to know where I got it from. Now, I have had other hairdressers reach out to me that have one that have said, oh, you've got an orange comb as well. I don't think they're readily available here in the UK, but I will try and find a link. Um, I know I have seen them on eBay in the States, so I will see if I can find a link that's kind of accessible for everybody and pop it down below. But you don't realise how much you want one of these until you actually have it. It always ends up in my hand if I'm teaching a class. I guess it's because it's a bit like a pointer. Um, not that I point at my class. And it's also one of those things that's really great for sort of touch-ups backstage or at fashion week or at an event. So yeah, it's a, one of those strange things. I never thought I would own a big orange pintail comb, but I do and 
it's one of those things I take everywhere. Okay, next up, it's the turn of a product and it's Virtue's Volumizing Primer. Now, this has been on my grid a lot, on my Instagram. It's a, I've actually got it in my hair now. I'm trying to kind of calm my hair. Now, obviously it's a volumizing product, but it's also great for control. It's a, a spray. I'm a really huge fan, as you will have probably seen on my grid or maybe on another video on here. I have other um, product review videos. This has never featured though, because this is relatively new to me. I've been using it for about, about a year now. It's a liquid volumizing kind of hair styling spray, if you like. I'm gonna regret that on my sticky floor afterwards. Well, it's not that sticky actually, to be honest. It's a very, very low. Oh, I've got shorts on, so it's actually just gone onto my leg. Um, it smells divine. It's from a brand called Virtue. The wonderful Adir Abigail is behind the brand Virtue with some really amazing other human beings. And I've been using this, like I said, for about a year. It's the most incredible, volumizing, memory giving, curl enhancing, wave keeping styling product. So check out Virtue, but in particular, have a look at Volumizing Primer. It contains a really amazing um, formulation called Alpha Keratin, which helps to rebuild the hair as it styles. Love Volumizing Primer. Forever pulling a funny face. Now, a tint brush is a tint brush is a tint brush, I hear you say. Oh no, 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 not when it's the Tomi from Foil Me Foils and Sherry Noble. Now, this brush, now I am the UK ambassador for Foil Me Foils, but this is not sponsored, it's not paid for as everything on my YouTube or my grid on Instagram, that is the case. Now, I was given one of these to try a, when it first came out, maybe about six months ago, I think it was pre-Christmas. Oh my goodness, what a difference it makes to your glossing, toning, etc., etc. There's a couple of reasons that I love this so much. Number one is it's so beautifully ergonomically designed. It's lovely to hold in your hand. Um, they've really thought about, well, Cherie's really thought about how you're gonna use it. And obviously she's the most incredible hairdresser and does a lot of beautiful work, which involves a lot of glossing and toning. So it's really lovely to hold in your hand. The bristles are so amazing. This has been washed and washed and washed and it's still, you know, in really, really good um, condition and is obviously gonna, you know, it's so well made, it's gonna last a long time. The bristles are that little bit longer, they hold just the right amount of product and the brush head is slightly wider, which means that you can cover a greater area in less time, which is what I'm always talking about with Foil Me Foils as well. So the most incredible brush, I can put a zone tone, a root shadow and a zone tone on with one of these in about five minutes. And goodness knows when we're in salon, let's get back into salon as quickly as possible here in the UK, that's what we wanna be able to do. We wanna be able to be fast and efficient. And this makes you both of those. So I love the Tone Me from Foil Me Foils and Cherie Noble. Now let's talk clips. Yes, clips. And I have three different sorts in this kit bag. Now the first one is really pretty standard and it's like a duckbill clip. Um, I think this one was from a shop in the UK called Muji. I'm a real purist. I like things that are very simple. I know there's a huge, um, massive load of fans for the sort of really big sort of crocodile-y alligator -y. I'm not quite sure what they're called, but they're really huge ones. That's fine, that's cool. It's a personal preference thing. I find that they just get in my way. So I just like something that's quite got quite a firm um, spring on it, but that does the job and sections the hair. So that's the first one. I've got a few here, chuck it back in my kit bag. The second one, now this is one of my favorites. This is actually from a brand called Denman who make the, the obviously iconic Denman brush, but they also make clips. And this, I don't know if you guys can see, is like flock covered. So it's got like a, a really soft touch texture. Again, it's got a really, really firm spring on it. And this is what I use for foil highlighting, of which there's a couple of live demos on my IGTV on Instagram where I go into why I love this clip so much. But it's brilliant for actually taking your sections when you're foiling in my opinion, it saves you lots and lots of time. And again, it really grips the hair because of that, ouch, because of that soft touch covering. So it's the, it's the flock clip from Depp from Denman. And then last up is this. Now this is super cute and you will have all seen different versions of these. I picked this up, um, I bought loads of them the last time I was in New York 
from a store called Ricky's, which unfortunately, it's really sad, has actually closed now, but that was like a hairdressing wholesaler's. It was iconic in um, New York. And this is basically a no uh, mark clip. So I always have these in my kit and I've got, I've got some since that I will link down below that I actually bought in, uh, bought from eBay, but I don't have them here and they're like different pastel colours and sparkly. But I do always carry some of these in my kit because you never know when you're going to have to secure someone's hair out of the way. And I do actually even just use these in salon sometimes if I'm doing a blow dry or styling someone's hair and I just want to catch the hair out of the way. Pretty standard things to have, but a really great thing to have inside your kit. So every hairdresser, I guess, needs a pair of scissors, or if you're in the US, a pair of shears. I know you guys call them shears over in the States. Now, these are mine. Now, well, they're not my only pair. I have several pairs of these. Um, they are all Joelle's. I've always, always, always used Joelle's. They're not the snazziest scissors. They're not the most expensive scissors. Again, I'm quite a minimalist. Um, I like just a really, really simple, non-offset, pair of scissors. I have um, maybe six pairs of these. These are about 25 years old. I absolutely love them. This is my very, very favourite pair. They're not serrated, so they're great for texturising as well. I guess because I've been hairdressing for such a long time and I started using Joelle's when I retrained when I first moved to London. So I was about 18 years old and it's the first thing that the guys that I worked with did was they made me buy a pair of Joelle's and I've used them ever since. The scissor, the scissor shear industry is a big one and it's worth lots and lots of money. And I know that some of you out there will like ones with, you know, fancy dials on and that are offset and that have swivelly bits and all that stuff. And that is completely fine and really cool. But I've tried those scissors before, I've tested them out and I just find that they're just, they just don't work as well for me. And I just find that these are the ones that, you know, are really close to my heart and that I get the best results from. Um, and at the end of the day, I think it's what you do with them. It's not necessarily the scissors that maketh the amazing hairdressers. So I'm a huge Joel fan and have been for years and always will be. Now there was me talking about being a purist and a minimalist and this is my wet brush. Oh yes. <laughs> now I have two of these. This is um, the red one. I have a green one and it is sparkly. It's sparkly AF and it is Christmas themed. Huge Christmas fan, if you didn't know, now you know, there's often Christmas themed stuff on my, obviously at Christmas time, um, not in the middle of June, on my Instagram, but I just love Christmas and I love a wet brush. Really, really simply put, I do a lot of hair colour and a lot of my clients have longer hair, not all of them, but a lot of them do. This is so great for combing out, for brushing out damp hair that has colour on it without snagging the hair. Obviously you want to be careful when you're dealing with any hair that's processed, but I do a lot of full head lightening, a lot of full head bleach outs, and I find that this is incredible if you're careful for getting tangles out. It's also brilliant for untangling teasy lights. I know that there's a lot of people out there that are massive fans of the tangle teaser. I'm not a fan of that at all, to be honest. That's one of those bits of kit that I really don't like. Um, just because I find it can snag coloured hair, whereas wet brushes don't. And that's why I have two, and there's absolutely no reason why they're both Christmas themed. I just love Christmas. So yeah, huge wet brush fan. If you've never tried one, I and they're not super expensive. I think they're around £10, $10. So I would definitely urge you, if you do a lot of colour work, and um, certainly if you do a lot of teasy lights, to try out a wet brush. So there's one other product that I always have in my kit, and that is Olaplex. Just check it's around the right way. Olaplex number six. Now I have recently done an overview video of number six and number seven, and I will pop it there in a card, and I will also link it down below. So you can go and check out why I'm such a massive fan. But who wouldn't want to rely on a product that Bond builds, oh yes, it does have that unique ingredient in it, Bond builds, conditions the hair, detangles, heat protection, UV protection, smooths and is really really lightweight and gives results time and time again. I mean you know both in salon and if I'm on a session job sometimes I don't know what sort of hair it is I'm going to be dealing with or if I'm in salon doing lots of colour work this always gets applied to the hair even if it's just the tiniest little tiny fingernail size because you don't need to use a lot of it a lot you know a little goes a long way but that's why check out the other bits and bobs to find out why I'm even more of a fan but that is why Olaplex number six is always in my kit bag. 
Now, last but by no means least, there are two other things I want to share with you from my kit bag, and they are combs. More combs, you say. Well, these are very, very, I was going to say special combs. They're combs. But they're things that I have used for a long, long time, and, and again, are really an important part of my kit. Now, the first one is a tail comb. I have talked about this before in my other Look Inside My Kit Bag, and this is the Star Flight Plastic Ended Tail Comb by DuPont. Now, I have several of these, five, six. They're all grey. This one's a little bit damaged in the teeth department. They're all grey, and I just use it for everything, from dressing out hair to all my foil highlights. I'm not an advocate, I'm not a fan of a metal-ended comb. There's absolutely no reason other than personal choice. So that's the Star Flight Tail Comb from DuPont. I just find, again, if you look on my Instagram, I often talk about this in my IGTV videos, I just find it gives me a really great weave, a slice, it's great for, like I said, dressing out hair for teasing and all of those things. Love my grey DuPont tail comb. And then, back in the bag, and then last up, it's this. Now, this has also been in a couple of videos, I think. It might have been in my, in my top 10 content tips that I love saying. And this is a comb from a brand called Via. I don't know, the, the logo there has almost worn off, but it's a brand called Via and that you can find them on the internet. It is quite hard to find. I think it's a European brand. Um, it's quite hard to find them. I'm not sure. I can't be 100%. Maybe they're not European at all. And maybe they're from somewhere like San Francisco, from California. But uh, who knows? Maybe they'll reach out to me and tell me. This is a comb that I use for content. I call it my content comb. It's just got the most amazing sized teeth. The teeth are spaced so that... Um, it doesn't leave kind of like drag marks, comb marks in the hair. Really great for smoothing when you're doing the sort of smooth shine line shots that I love to do. I also love this for cutting hair with no tension. So I, I panicked when I, I lost one of these and I thought, oh my goodness, I can't seem to find them anywhere and they're gonna not be distributed anymore. They're not gonna be manufactured. So I bought quite a few. And there is a, a drawer in my trolley in the salon that is got quite a few of these in. I wouldn't say it's full of them, but there are quite a few. So that's, and I'm not quite sure because the decals, oh no, okay, so it's the SG525. SG so that's from Via. And it is the most amazing multi-use comb. It's made of a, like a composite material that makes it super hygienic. And also I've dropped it a bazillion times, obviously. And it's not, not broken, not snapped. So amazing comb brand Via. I also use their bigger cutting comb, which I don't have here with me, um, but would normally be in my kit. And that's like a two different size teeth cutting comb. Love me a Via comb. So that's it for my kit bag must haves. All the things that I just can't be without and are never far away from me. Thank goodness I've had this with me over the last however many weeks, who's counting? So as always, peeps, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and make sure that you're subscribed so you see everything here on my channel. I need to stop doing this. And what's your favourite kit? Have you got kit items that I've missed out that you think I should know about? Please leave it in the comments down below. And of course, check out my Instagram for more of my hair day today. It's been so much fun putting all of these videos together whilst I have been here at home. And I want to thank each and every one of you that comes to my YouTube and watches them. It, you know, thank you so much for your support and there is more coming soon, so stay tuned. Until then, you guys take loads of care and I'll see you in the next one.